Alright, so I just went to the boat dock today on a nice July afternoon and uh, got a pretty horrendous clunking noise, I guess. And um, I guess I'll show you here. This kind of hurts to do, but here it is. Ooh! So it sounds to me like the starter is like either skipping on the flywheel or something like that. I really don't know. So I'm just going to start digging in. This is a 1995 um, Crown Line BR202 or 202BR I think it actually is. So uh, it has a 5.7 Alpha Gen 2 Mercruiser on it. And uh, anyway, so i uh, gonna going to start tearing in. I'm going to probably end up taking this whole back seat out to get better access to the starter because uh, it's kind of a joke. Um, the doghouse style boats are quite a bit more convenient in my experience. So know that when you buy a bench boat. So anyway, going to start digging in. All right, so I am in basically the engine bay of my boat, and I thought the starter was maybe the problem, or maybe the teeth on the starter, or the flywheel, or about a million different options, and um, anyway, pulled the starter out. Starter looks great, not the starter. So now I pulled um, and looked at the flywheel. Flywheel looks good. Like I say, no issues there. So I tried to crank the motor over and then the engine um, wouldn't really crank over. It moved a little bit and then it got really hard. And probably some of you boat people know where this is going. And so I pulled the spark plug, on, pilot plugs on the, it'd be the starboard side. Good to go, no issues. Tried to crank it over, still won't crank. Came over to the passenger side um, and pulled the back plug right there. And a bunch of water came pouring out. And so that's bad. Uh, probably means either a head gasket or a manifold failure or something like that. And that also probably means the metal that we heard, the metal noise, was it getting all tore up. So this is me pulling the next plug out which is, I loosened it, but maybe not enough. Everything's so damn greasy. Okay, nothing came out, so that's good. I'm gonna keep going, but for sure this back one bunch of water pooped out of there so not good and uh, because of the way that the plug is kind of angled up in the shot and this right whoops this right here is the manifold that little groove is just not working for me there so I ended up getting like a offset wrench double offset wrench is what they're called box end wrench and that's worked for these two plugs we'll see about the rest of them but not a good day all right, <clears throat> later in the day, put down a pretty good sweat trying to get this all taken apart. So pretty much any boat you're on, you'll want to get stripped down to this point, you know, where you have good access. I'm going to take the sun deck off here in a minute. So anyway, yeah, I pulled the pulled plug out, a bunch of water came pouring out, and I only have two plugs left in right now, and it still doesn't want to turn over. So that's not a good thing. Could be in those two still have water in them or probably more likely i think that there's rods and pistons chunks in there so anyway um this side this would be the starboard side um you can get the plugs out pretty easy no issues no special tools required but on this side that's where you need the the port side that's where you need your um special I don't know I honestly don't know what you use to get it off of there I'm probably never gonna find out because um, I'm gonna end up taking the manifolds off anyway so anyway, I'm gonna start kind of tearing some things down but bummer deal so um, just kind of the way it goes and uh, we'll see
All right, so I pulled the manifold off here, and now we're gonna see if how much water comes out of here. None. That's good. We'll see about the next one. None. So only the back cylinder. Back there. So I guess that's good. It's still probably just as f***ed either way, but just as damaged either way. But we'll go from there.